don't even know where to start with what I want to talk about today. This is going to be a rant. The other of it is going to be a review. But that rant part, huh, trust me. what is up this is the concrete catwalk those of you who are new to my channel welcome i'm a reseller who loves all things thrifted vintage pre-love new nearly new you name it estate sailing sailing i love it to my catwalkers welcome back to a new video this sunday to my newly subscribed you guys thank you thank you so much for deciding to come along together with me on this journey we're growing and i am super excited I want to get into two things, one of which is going to be a rant and the other a review of this beauty that's sitting to my side. But before we get to that, I want to talk to you guys about that really gets under my skin. All of you out there in the viewing audience who are business owners or who are entrepreneurial, who are growing a business, going through the journey of expanding and moving forward with something that truly is your passion, I think this is gonna resonate with you. Let me just set this up about what happened. I am a reseller and I have a closet on Poshmark. I have been doing that since 2014 to the present day. And I enjoy the interactions that I have there. I enjoy commenting and talking to people back and forth if they have questions or vice versa if i have questions about something that they have listed but beyond that sometimes it also gets into the business of business now follow me here i have no problem with a person that comes into my closet there and leaves a comment about something that they see that they like 95% of the time, the interaction is amicable. There's no issues. People are asking questions because they see something that they like. But that 5% of the time, you will get that one individual that does not know how to mind their own business. You will get those few individuals that take it upon themselves to tell you what they feel you should be doing with your business what you should be doing with your particular listed item, what your listed item is or is not, that your listed item is more expensive than other people who have X, Y, Z, and P in their closet, what you may want to consider, and I was just giving my personal opinion and I just wanted to let you know, you know what? I do not care. If you cannot come into my business, my closet, and respectfully say something to me or respectfully precurse it and say, hey, do you mind if we have a chat about X? Don't take it upon yourself to leave a comment adversely, negatively, your opinion in what I have built. Don't do that. Don't take it upon yourself to consider yourself schooling me, giving me an education about an item, giving me some constructive criticism. Do not take it upon yourself to do that if I didn't ask for it. It really bothers me that a person would have or persons would have that much time and energy to worry about my business, to worry about what's going on in the business that I've built from the ground up. When you have a business that you need to take care of and you need to mind your business, I do not look at platforms as a way to strike at people. I do not look at platforms as a way to be smart with people. I do not look at platforms as a way to hide behind a keyboard and give cross comments and crass comments to people, the underhanded, backhanded comments to people. But the thing about it is some people do. I was going through this and I was thinking about it because this recently happened to me and it got under my skin. I'm not even playing with you. It got under my skin and I wanted to talk about it because those of you who are in business, I wanted to know and I would like to know 
If this happens to you, how do you deal with it? It could be any platform you're selling on. It could be Poshmark. It, it could be anything where you, or it could be brick and mortar. It could be anything where there is an interaction with people. I just don't get and understand or process the need for, for a person to take that energy and effort and to jump into making those types of comments and remarks to something that has no bearing on them. If it is a mistake on my end, let me figure out it's a mistake on my end and rectify it. If it's a problem on my end, let me discover the problem on my end and figure it out and fix it. If there is a situation or something that rises to the nature where I realize that it is something that I need to handle, let me be the one to self-discover and fix it because it's not your place to do it. You could mean well, you could honestly mean well by jumping in and saying, hey, I just wanted to let you know, but don't do it. Don't do that. If I'm gonna take the fall, let me take the fall. If I'm gonna learn from the mistake, let me learn from the mistake. It's not for you to point it out. It's not for you to pull it up and say, oh, you know, this, this, and this. Do I believe in constructive criticism? Absolutely, if it's a two-way dialogue, but if it's a one-way street, mind your business and stay out of my business. With that, let me move on. Let me get off of that. The thing that this moves me into, speaking of some comments and reviews about things, some people have asked questions about my MS Kelly bag and how I feel about it. Last year, I purchased this bag off of Vestier Collective, and I am so happy that I did purchase the bag. However, there are some things that I, in carrying this bag now for roughly almost six months, five, six months, that I want to share with you about it. This is her, my vintage Hermes Kelly bag in Ritorne Oxblood leather. Carrying this is so understated and it is just one of those types of bags where for me every time i pick it up and i use it it just reminds me of how much i i really wanted a piece like this from hermes i have other pieces from hermes none of which come close to this as far as how it has been since i've got it and used it and put it through some day to days I like this bag a lot. Would I say that I am in love with it? No, I wouldn't say that I'm in love with it. I like this a lot. One of the things that I will comment on about this bag is how I carry the bag. You'll see from the picture that I post here how I like to carry it, but I'm gonna give you the look. When I carry the bag, I like to carry it just like this, where the top is a little open. Real cool girl vibe, it's simple. It's the type of thing where you can just reach your hands in. You can access anything it is that you need inside of it. I like the fact that you have the sangles that hang down and it just looks, it just looks so easy and it looks so unbothered. That is what I like when I carry it like this. Now hear me out. When I do carry the bag like this, I get a lot of people who say, oh, you know, your bag's open. Oh, you know, your bag's open, your bag's undone. And I'm not being judgy about it. I'm just simply expressing how I feel. And it's almost kind of like, if you know, you know. A lot of people who have this bag like to carry the bag like this. It's just something about the way that it makes you look when you carry it that way. It's just, without even getting into it, you get it. You get it if you get it. If you don't, I understand. I'm going to say this lightly. If, if people are not familiar with the brand or they're not familiar with the aesthetic, I can understand why somebody would say that. I totally do. The scheme of things, it is what it is. I just politely say, oh no, it's just how I carry it and it's enough. The thing with this bag, it just speaks without having to say anything. That is why I enjoy using it so much. Is it the most spacious bag? No, not really. I do feel somewhat limited when I carry it. When I say that I really like the bag versus love it, that is somewhat cumbersome to get out in and out of. If you were to twist it shut and you were to 
put the sangles together. Let's just be real. I wish that I could carry it like this, meaning tucked in and it would just be up like this and solid, but I can't. It has these tears on the side and has given a little, and it doesn't allow for a nice clean aesthetic to be able to do that. But I don't wanna carry it where I'm hooking these two sangles together and it looks like this because I don't particularly like that look. I like it if it was cleaner and it was tighter and it could stay just like this and I could carry it like that. But unfortunately, I'm not able to do that. But getting away with it being carried like this, you guys, I absolutely enjoy it. I, on a scale of ownership, am I, am I love in love with the fact that I bought this bag? Yes, I am. As far as a daily driver, this is not what I would use as a daily driver. This is something that I take out when I just feel like I wanna go in that mode of carrying an Hermes Kelly bag. Wear and tear on this has been fantastic. I do not worry about this bag when I carry it. I don't put a lot of things in here when I carry this bag. But what I love about this bag is the vibe that it gives off. I would say this to you. If you're looking for something like this, an Hermes Kelly bag, a vintage Hermes Kelly bag on the resale market, I always tell you guys, do your homework. Understand first and foremost what it is you really want. Understand what it is you're getting into when you purchase something like this. And also understand the pros and cons of it. I wish this had a crossbody strap, and I think that that's one thing that I am gonna invest in so that if I decide to hook it and carry it shut, I can just easily throw it across my body, and it won't be a big issue about lugging it all over the place. If you're in the market for something like this, do your homework, make sure that this is something that you're gonna be able to deal with. If you wanna do this as a daily driver, my suggestion is this is not necessarily a daily driver bag, unless there's a crossbody strap with it, because this bag can be rather extra to carry around, especially just as the top handle component. But in the end, this is definitely something that I feel is a worthwhile investment, and it is something that you should absolutely consider adding to your handbag collection, hands down, no doubt. If you're teeter-tottering on the fence about buying one of these, the prices on these has gone up tremendously. I really would like an Hermes Kelly in a size 32 in black, but the price points I'm kind of looking at and I am strongly considering on the side of I am not sure to I don't know to possibly know, but who knows? Things always pop up on Vestiaire Collective. This is where, as I said, I got my bag and it's a good place to start to look. People are always making adjustments to prices there and you always tend to find things when you least expect it. You guys, there you have it. That was my rant. I wanted to get that off my chest about how people come and they leave comments or make suggestions about how you're doing your business when they really need to mind their business. Let me know in the comments below, has that ever happened to you? Let me know in the comments below if you have an Hermes Kelly bag, pre-loved or new, how you feel about it, what's been your experience with carrying it, and have you ever had anybody question you about how your bag is looking when you carry it? All oh, your bags open. Let me know in the comments below if that's ever happened to you. Thank you, you guys, so much for watching me. I post videos every Sunday. If you do not want to miss out on anything that I post, you know what to do. You see what I'm asking you to do, and you'll get notifications each time I post a new video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Links to my socials will be in the box below. Be safe, and I will see you all next Sunday. Bye for now.